Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Tactical Chaos. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over what is probably the best assault rifle build in the entire game. Well, it's definitely the best assault rifle, but it is a matter of your playstyle preference on the build that you like. This build that I'm going to show you right here is amazing for close range gameplay. It's got great recoil control, aim down sights. We are running iron sights on it. So I got my uh, green laser on there for hip fire recoil control because that is one of my key play styles is I'd like to use hip fire. And that's for a few reasons because I'm able to run around the map a hell of a lot quicker and drop everything that I see without taking time to aim down sights because that does slow you down and it, you know, you exit out of your peripheral vision. So... You know, it takes time. You can get killed in the amount of time it takes to aim down your sights. As opposed to learning how to hip fire at close range. Anyway, let's go over the build that I got right now. So, first off, we're going to start off with the Cast Off 74U, which is the AK-74U. We're going to put the True Tech rear grip on here. What this is going to do for you is give you a lot more handling, aim down sight speed, and sprint to fire speed. Just make your gun a lot easier to move around. We got uh we're gonna actually put that there on sprint to fire and leave it on recoil steadiness. Put a 45 round mag in there so you got enough lead to throw down range. You could drop you know multiple targets if you want to get them quad feed kills. Then we're gonna put the VX pineapple grip on here. This is probably the best foregrip in the game. Um, either this or the Eptac 56 or Groom One Warrior Grip. Those are my three favorite four grips. But the Pineapple is amazing for recoil control and hip fire accuracy. So, <clears throat> yeah, we're going to put that on right there. You can see you got hip fire accuracy, hip fire recoil control, recoil steadiness, and aim walking steadiness tuned out to hip fire accuracy and recoil control. Then we're going to put on the RF Crown 50 muzzle brake. So, like, let's go check out some other muzzle brakes that we got. None of them compare to the RF Crown, except for maybe, actually, actually, the X10 port to 290 might be a little bit better, so let's check that one out. I do like that, too, but let's see, what does it do for the handling? All right, we're going to go with the X port. And X10 ported 290 grip. We're going to put it on gun kick control and recoil stabilization. So that way you're, you know, your recoil steady. It's not bouncing all over the place. And then last, I'm going to put my FTAC Grimline laser on there. Now this gives you good hip fire control, hip fire accuracy, sprint to fire speed. You can see right there where it puts on your stats. It raises it up really well. A lot better than all the other lasers. Uh, this one right here gives you good handling and good accuracy, but it is a canted sight. So when you aim down your sights, it won't be your irons. You will be aiming down like this. Which is actually pretty effective if you want to run like that. But it's definitely not great for long range kills. And with iron sights, you can still get some good long range kills. So that's why I'm running it with the FTAT Grimline laser. I'm going to go ahead and save that to tuned. Alright, and this is my AK-74U build. Let me know what you guys think. I am in the process of getting my Platinum for it right now. I need to get 22 more long shots with it, and then I'll have Platinum unlocked. But right now, it is still a really good weapon. I love it, and I probably would never use the Platinum camo anyway. I do like this camo a lot, though. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think of my build. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you guys stick around for the next video. Later, guys.